Hi YouTubers, it's Andy the Hearstman here once again. Thank you so much indeed once again for joining me today. So today, the garage doors are open. We've got blue skies. We're sat in the hearse. We're going to start the hearse up and we're going to hit the road. You going to join me? Let's go! Okay, <laughs> unfortunately we're not going very far today, this is about as far as we can go. But I did a video the other day and it was a little bit noisy because I live on a busy main road, so apologies again if you were struggling to hear what I was saying. So I've got myself a little clip on mic, so hopefully this is better, better sound. I can only go as far as the end of my driveway because I say we can't go anywhere, we're not allowed to travel unless it's an important journey. So going for a day and out in the hearse isn't considered to be important. So we're kind of stuck in. Anyway, today's one is all about the interior of the hearse. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a look. I'm going to walk down the hearse and show you my hearse from the side. 1987 Cadillac SNS Victoria hearse. Let's go on a little look. Come on. Okay, so here we go. This is my 1987 Cadillac. If you followed me just recently, you'd know that I've been doing a little bit of a install on there. I'm a massive fan of Elvira, which will make sense in a minute too when I tell you all about the inside. Did the engine last week, had a bit of a chat about that last week. And this week it's all going to be about the interior. Let's have a wander around. So here we go, in the sunshine, in Britain, UK. A Cadillac hearse. That's as far as we can go today. Can't get any further than that. Okay, it's a little bit quieter today. I'll say last uh, last week I did a little video and it's really noisy and I once again I apologise for the sound quality. So this week I'm going to do a little video about the interior of the hearse uh, and what I've done to it because it's slightly different. It's I've tried to with this vehicle really keep it fairly stock if I possibly can. I don't really want to be putting a lot of of unusual mods in it, everybody's different. I know in, in the States there's some great hearses in America and um, people really modded them and they made an awesome job with them. Well, I, I want to try and keep mine as original as I possibly can, but obviously I've got some bits and pieces in here. So let's have a little look at the uh, what's inside a Cadillac hearse. Here we go. Okay, so let's have a little look down here. Let's see what we can find. Yeah, I'm just making sure as well everything does work as it should do. So this is a door panel. We've got the door panel. You've got the locking system to, to, to obviously lock it. Central locking works. Locking system works. This is where all the seats are. So this is just the seats. Back up and down, forwards and back. Everything works. It's an old car and it all works. It's brilliant. Got the mirrors as well. Got a little, little, little twist system on the mirror so you twist it and it all works fine twist it onto the other one and the other one works fine as well so they're brilliant brilliant little system you probably notice on the dashboard as well we've got the uh, little thing stuck to the windscreen that's the alarm because you've got to have an alarm system as well and that little little device up there is for the uh, this for the alarm so it's got an alarm in as well so we can set it and hopefully hopefully hang on to it as much as we possibly can oh yeah it's only done 95,000 miles from 1987. 95,000 miles, that's amazing. Uh, it's just incredible. It's, it's, it's a love of my life. I love driving this thing, it's great fun. Uh, because obviously, all the car shows have cancelled. There are no car shows this year. Uh, I do like to have a bit of a run round at car shows and have a bit of a chat with people and tell people about the car. I'm always quite fascinated by it, especially with all my props. I think trying to do what they do in the States really. Which is, I like doing what they do in the States. I mean, they have, they have a great way of doing it in America. And I love the way you guys do it over there. It's just great. 
you take it, it's so much more fun than we do it. Brushes tend to be rows and rows and rows of cars. So you turn up at a car show and just rows of cars and it, it, some great cars, some fantastic vintage and veteran, and, but just rows of cars. So if you go to a car show, it's just, oh, look, a Porsche 911. Oh, that's, that's really cool. I, I, I look, oh, we've, we've, we've got like a Rolls Royce. Oh, that's, that's lovely and it's beautiful. That's, you know, but there's nothing, not many people actually take the time to put signs up and say what it is. I know some of you guys do and I appreciate that. But a lot of people, they just turn up with a car and leave it there. Sit on the deck chair eating sandwiches, drinking coffee, not interacting with people. I always take my props with me. And if you've been to a car show where I've I've been to, you, you'll know what props to take. Some people don't like them because they don't get it. They don't like the, the Santa and the coffin and they don't get it. But a lot of people find it quite, hopefully, light-hearted and tongue-in-cheek, which is what it's supposed to be. It's not taking the mickey out of anybody. It's just tongue-in-cheek and having a little bit of fun. So that's why I like taking all my props with me because it's, it just makes it more interesting. And obviously, out with me, car being called Elvira people say why is it called Elvira so I can tell them why I like Elvira mistress of the dark and tell her up tell them about her so, okay so one of the first things you probably notice about the hearse is the steering wheel when you obviously when you jump in and it's got this really cool steering wheel with this like, wood grain in the like and it's, it runs all the way around remember this is a 1987 car so it goes back a long long way so you got a really really cool steering wheel and then obviously we've got all the usual bits and pieces in. Left hand side we've got the indicators, or turn signals, as you call them in the in the States. And you push it and obviously it operates all the, the wipers and all that sort of stuff as well. And this is a little device which obviously adjusts the position of the steering wheel so you can see them can go up and down and move around and do all sorts of bits and pieces. Let's, let's turn it on, let's turn it on, let's see what happens. Let's uh, put some power. Now, okay, we've got some buzzing. Hey, hey, we've got some buzzing lights. That sound you can hear again, as I mentioned last week, was the uh, the compressor. There's a little compressor underneath the engine bay, and that little compressor makes the back of the car come up. Comes up to ride height. It's got a little air compressor in. Now I've obviously, in conjunction with uh, UK regulations, we've had to put a fog light in. So I've got a little fog light switch down here. Obviously, soon, and we've also got the light switch as well. We've got a pull light switch. Let's turn the light switch on. That's when the little light comes on for the fog lights at the back. But it's never used in fog. But to be compliant with UK regulations, it's got to have it. So I'll turn those lights off. And then we've got fuel data centre. We've actually got three gallons of gas in at one pound and nine p a litre. A pound and nine pence a litre, people in the States. Let me know what you're paying for your gas. I believe it's about 98 cents a, a gallon. I was this one pound and nine p a litre. A litre. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're moving around the car. Let's have a little look at this side. So we've got a little sign which says car is levelling. That means the back of the car is coming up and it's coming up to, to the correct right height. Once it gets the correct right height, that switches itself off. Usual bits and pieces for an automatic, of course. We've got accelerator, brake. Who knows what that is? Okay, you guys in the States will know exactly what that is. A lot of people over here won't have a clue. You let me know what that is. Tell me what that is. And what I've done is I've got a few extra little bits and pieces on here. So I've got a little button, special little button that you probably won't find in, in any other Cadillac. And that's because I've got an electronic door at the back and you push that button and it pops the back door open. I can see myself talking. Hello there. Andy the hearse man. How are you? Are you okay? Yeah. So a little button pops the back door on. We've got the dip beam and the main beam. And obviously we've got all this mass of, <laughs> of wiring. <laughs> now if you follow my, my last episode, you'll know I've been talking about this reversing camera. Very, very important. Because I can't see where I'm going when I'm reversing this thing up. I've got a big American casket in the back. I can't see a thing. I can't see anywhere. So that's why I put that in. And obviously you've got the uh, the radio as well. Radio in the UK, it doesn't work. I didn't want to take it out and, and stick a, a silly radio in it. I wanted to keep it stock, but I really, really, really needed to use the radio. 
Uh, you can get them retuned. You can get them sent away and they'll retune it to calibrate for uh, UK frequencies because it's just about is it half a frequency off. I'm sure somebody down below will let me know what it is. But I need a radio. Where am I going to put the radio? Well, there is no radio. There's nowhere to put it, is there? There's no radio anywhere. I need music. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> uh, just having a little bit of fun with this as well. You've got to have a co-pilot, haven't you? Yes, you have. Are you sure? Yes, you have. Uh, this is my... <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, absolutely, Andy. Are you enjoying being in the hearse today? Yes, it's great fun, thank you. <laughs> what an idiot. Okay, you've got to have a little bit of fun with it. You've got to have a co-pilot in your hearse. I wanted something a little bit different, so I've got uh, I've got Santa with me. He comes along with me when we go for days out, and he'll be riding along a shotgun in my hearse for me. I just thought of it a little bit fun. I do change it from time to time. I've got a zombie as well that comes with me as well. So you get swapped out sometimes for a zombie in. And I have a zombie lady as well, which I, build. I like building props and having fun with it. So this is my co-pilot. doesn't have a name. He's just Santa. He doesn't need a name. He's, he is just Santa. The Santa man, indeed. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what else I've done to the inside of this as well, because there's quite a few unusual features to the inside of it. You can't really see anything until I pull the seats forward, which I'm going to do right now yeah okay I'll just turn it back off again because uh, it says it says uh, remove face plate before closing otherwise i can't <laughs> i can't close it up uh so yeah as, you, as i said before i've got a fascination for elvira mistress of the dark i've been collecting her stuff for a long long time and uh, got all dvds and all sorts of bits and pieces lps that she's made signed photographs i've met her in person and one of the things i wanted to do and uh, was to get an autograph on my hearse. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present Elvira, and Mistress of the Dark. Now she has signed this by herself. Obviously I couldn't take the hearse, so I took the, I took the glove box off. And she was over in the UK a couple of years ago doing a, a horror show. And I was very, very, very lucky enough to, to have met her. And I went with my daughter and we had, we had a great time. She was wonderful, just such a lovely, lovely person. So I got her to sign that for me, which was great. Thank you so much again for that. Cassandra, for signing that. I've also got a guitar of hers as well. I'm a big guitar fan. I'm a big rock guitar fan. Uh, and I've got her to sign the guitar. It's an Elvira Mistress of the Dark guitar, which has her face on it, which she's signed. And I've also got her to sign the case as well. Uh, so that's, that's them. the beauty of that. That's the way that goes. It's great. I'm, it's the only... 1987 Cadillac hearse that I know of in the UK with her autograph on. If I'm wrong, tell me, let me know if you've got her autograph as well on your hearse. Got to be a Cadillac hearse though, can't just be any old hearse. I know there's a colleague of mine, he had a uh, an autograph of Alice Cooper on his hearse. And I'm not sure where that is now. It was in Wales. I'm not sure it's, well, it's still there or not. There, there we go for that one. So on to the next bit. Okay, I don't know whether this uh, don't know whether this is showing up too well, but I've also installed uh, a multi JVC C CD changer as well on the back, and so I can select loads of CDs. I don't have to keep messing around changing CDs. I've got all sorts of stuff in there. It's mostly rock music to be honest, and a couple of horror tracks as well uh, in there as well. Next to that, I've got a not the best view. I must admit. A 1000 watt inverter, which I have installed again. I spent ages and ages on YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. You are absolutely brilliant giving me information and advice on how to do all this. Followed all this advice through. So I've got a 1000 watt inverter as well, so I can run whatever I want to what I run, really. Anything on that. So that's on that one. Uh, so that's in the back. And then we've just got one more thing. And again, it's this. I'm not sure whether you can see this very well or not. This is the BSC 3000 watt power amplifier, which again I managed to install. Just to the right of that, we've got a fuse box. It's all been installed. It's all been earthed up properly. And it's got a fuse box at this end of the car. And it's got a fuse box at the other end of the car as well. And the reason for that is I've got a, a big battery in the back that powers all this system up. 
so I've got the 3000 watt amp we've got the inverter and we've got the CD changer again hit all hidden behind the seats it's great it's loud I've got speakers in my coffin I've got another spare coffin with a DVD player in it and a TV in it as well as you have to do really uh, that's basically the interior of the vehicle so that's what's behind the seats all hidden away by myself and uh, typical of Cadillacs as well the interior is really 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 nice it's like sitting in a really really comfy armchair great blue comfy seats they are absolutely brilliant. you can go for miles oh what's that little box there, mate what's that little box down there what's that all about you didn't tell us about the little box did you Andy no it's a PA system <laughs> I've got a PA system in as well so you can plug a microphone into it or you can play music or plug whatever you want into it again I'm not going to do it today not to wind the neighbours up any more than I already do with having a hearse so I think it's quite a, a really cool little vehicle really I think it's fantastic what they've done to it uh, when we get this lockdown out of the way I did promise you we're going to have some uh, some trips out and about which we will do we'll have a little run around with the hearse and we'll, if you want me to look at anything in particular in Blackpool let me know uh, because we've got loads of interesting stuff to look at, look at here it's, it's a massive massive holiday resort which is incredibly quiet at the moment which is awful for all the people who run the hotels and guest houses and all the entertainment so it's just really 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 sad but we'll get over it we'll come around it uh myself and santa are going to run back in the garage again now <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video please like subscribe if you've got any comments if you think i'm going too fast or you're going i'm not going fast enough let me know because it's all a learning curve for all of us really it's just a bit of fun for us all to do but let me know i am open to any suggestions really as well as whether i'm doing it right or not so we've done the engine bay we've done the interior this is the interior bit i'm going to do another one in the back with a coffin i'll show you my coffin because that's quite cool i think it's quite cool it's a proper american casket so follow next week's blog and i'll show you the the coffin next week until then andy the hearseman signing off stay safe love one another that's what it's all about for myself take care bye for now <laughs>